There was a bit of a bright spot in the frigid forecast. Today's Bears game didn't turn out to be the coldest on record at Soldier Field, but with game time temps at only 11 degrees, it was still one of the coldest. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross shows us how fans endured the elements. Physics tells us sound travels slower in the cold. But fans tell us the cold isn't stopping them from traveling to and tailgating outside of Soldier Field. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm just excited to be here. This is the coldest game that I've been to. Did you guys forget the fight song or is your mouth not able to move because of the cold? Right now. Okay. By far the coldest. How cold? We'll show you when we check back in on this damp CBS2 polo in about 30 minutes. But it is frigid enough that freshly opened beer that would normally foam at the top of a bottle instead becomes slushy suds. So cold dip for chips seems more like solid bricks. We have frozen guacamole and hummus. The shrimp was frozen, then thawed, and now refrozen. So it's refrozen re shrimp. shrimp cocktail. That sounds terrible. It is. We can't eat or drink because everything is frozen. The food failures are a reminder of the dangers the cold and wind pose to fans. Fear of frostbite and worse forces tens of thousands to shore up socks, fortify their faces, and bundle up other places. Got the skivvies, got the Under Armour. How many layers you wearing? Uh, three. Got uh, another, another sweatshirt over that. Got my jersey on underneath that. Is this worth the game? <laughs> yeah. The Packers. Yes, absolutely. And this is what it's about. Gloves, hand warmers, and your best buddy in the world. Outside of Soldier Field and now waving the blue CBS2 flag of weather surrender. Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. As for inside the stadium, the Bears said they would double their warming centers from two to four and double their medical teams due to the weather.